is good YouTube it's Nick with the facts here coming to you with more facts on the way so today I'm about to do another vlog that features the March Madness tournament bracket which was mine and I'm about to show you the teams that have made it to the second round so we're gonna jump right into it and also make sure you also hit the like subscribe comment and then also you want to make sure you also press the notification button for when I have more content on the way so we're gonna get right into my room so let's go so I'm in my room about to take you through my March Madness tournament bracket so we're gonna get right into it so let's go so here's my bracket sitting on my bed and we're gonna jump right into it so let's go starting with the West region here we go with these first eight teams that went into the first round, and of course some of them won, which you got Gonzaga beating Norfolk State, and then Oklahoma beating Missouri, which those two teams will face off in the second round. And coming down to here, you got Creighton and UCSB beating them, and then Virginia had gotten upsetted by Ohio, which was an understatement. I mean, for a 13 c team, that wasn't even talked about. So Creighton and Ohio will be facing off against each other. After that comes USC and Drake. in Kansas and Eastern Washington, which Kansas and USC won. And Kansas will be facing USC. Shout out to my boy Evan Mobley and Isaiah Mobley. And even their dad. Congrats to those three. And coming down to Oregon and VCU, that game did not play because, you know, several players for VCU had tested positive. And, you know, that meant Oregon had to move on into the second round. Because, you know, with these rules and regulations to how college basketball is being played is like, you know, if several players will test positive, then it's like, hey. There's nothing you can do about it, and there's no replacement teams, which that team loses if they test positive. So Oregon will move on, and then you had Iowa and Grand Canyon. My boy Garza is a beast. He is a beast, Luca Garza. Iowa will play them, so you know. We're going to see how that goes. So that's the western region right here. Now I'm going to take you down to the Eastern Region. Starting now with the Eastern Region, eight teams have a chance to make it to the second round. So we're going to see which eight teams had made it. And here we go. Which you got Michigan taking on Texas Southern, which Michigan won. Shout out to Juwan Howard for making it into the second round. Former NBA player and his alma mater was Michigan. So shout out to him. Then you had LSU beating St. Bonaventure which LSU made it into the second round, which they'll play Michigan. After that comes, you know, Colorado and Georgetown. Shout out to Patrick Ewing once again. Him, like, you know, taking his team all the way to the first round and even into the March Madness moment. So even though they did not win against Colorado, because Colorado had a lot more depth, so they'll be playing in the second round and then comes Florida and Greensboro, which Florida State had won. Shout out to them. So they'll also play each other. Then coming down to where BYU and UCLA squared off. And of course, UCLA won, as you see, they're highlighted. Which UCLA will take on the second round. Then coming down. To Texas and Abilene Christian, it was such an upset for Texas. Getting upset by a 14 c team. Unbelievable. Never saw that coming. Just never. So yeah. Upsets happen for a reason. There's nothing you can do about them. Coming down to UConn and Maryland, it was an upset in that game. Maryland upset in UConn. And then after that came Alabama and Iona, which Alabama, of course, won without no upset. They've been good all season. So it's like, hey, what 
what else can you say about it about this Bama team? And then that concludes the Eastern region. Now I'm about to take you to the Southern region, where the eight teams will meet up and square off to go to the second round. So I'm gonna take you there. So right now in the Southern region, these eight teams have a chance to like you know make it to the second round. So we're gonna see which eight teams have done it. And let's go. Now here we go. Down to Baylor. Down to Hartford. Of course, Baylor won. Of course, they're the number one seed. So shout out to them. And my Tar Heels took on the Wisconsin Badgers. And of course, they were just upset. And of course, I knew they would because, you know, that young talent is like, you know, still coming together. I mean, they've always been good and they've never been even knocked out in the set in the first round, which is like, wow. And coming down to here, Villanova taking on Winthrop. Then Purdue taking on North Texas. Of course, Villanova won theirs against Winthrop. Then, of course, you got North Texas getting an upset win against Purdue, which is like, wow. Who saw that coming? Upsets happen for a reason. Like I said before, there's nothing you can do about them. You just got to come out next year and... See what things that you didn't do in the tournament, and hopefully they'll turn out to be like, you know, the correct things. And coming down to here, you got Texas Tech, Utah State, my boy Matt McClung. He's been doing his thing at Texas Tech, which they won against Utah State. Then after that, you got Arkansas and Colgate. Shout out to Arkansas for winning as well. So those two teams will take center stage and keep on going from there. So you got them, the other two teams coming down, which is the University of Florida now. You got them taking on Virginia Tech. And of course, they, of course, won theirs. And then I cannot get over the Oral Roberts and Ohio State game and how Ohio State was upset while they were the actual number two seed. And really, nothing you can do about it. Seriously. Of course, Florida and Oral Roberts will be taking on each other as well. So, yeah. Going to see how that goes. So, stay tuned. And that concludes the Southern region. Now, I'm going to take you down to the Midwestern region. Show you which teams won their games. So, let's go. Last but not least, here we are at the Midwestern region, which these eight teams have a chance to make it to the second round, or of course pull off pull off upsets. So we're gonna like you know see which teams have done it and pulled off upsets. So of course Illinois and Drexel they played their game. Of course Illinois won. Illinois Illini. Shout out to them, and then of course Loyola Chicago beat Georgia Tech. And Georgia Tech fans, if some of y'all are out there, I'm sure y'all were upset. And I'm sure there was nothing y'all could do about it. So, yeah. Illinois will take on Loyola Chicago in the second round. So then coming down to here, Tennessee has just been upset. Sorry, Vols. Couldn't do it. And, I mean, have upsets happen for a reason. They have their course. Really. Truth be told, then after that comes Oklahoma State, my boy Cade Cunningham, taking on Liberty. Oklahoma State won there, which they gave them the right to have the home court advantage in the second round since they're number four. And Oregon State's number 12. Coming down to here is where you got San Diego State and Syracuse. Shout out to Syracuse for winning. I'm sure Carmelo Anthony was somewhere watching that game. But I'm sure he wasn't at the game because, you know, COVID is, I mean, out there. And after that came West Virginia and Moorhead State. No upset there. Moorhead State had just, you know, won their game. Or not because, you know, because... No upset was available, so let's see what West Virginia and Syracuse have. 
So we're going to see how that goes. And after that, coming down to here, is you got Rutgers and Clemson that took on each other. Of course, Rutgers just had upset at Clemson to make it into the second round. Then after that, you see Houston had one against Cleveland State. No upset happened in that game, so those two teams, Houston and Rutgers, will take on each other. Have a chance to like get into the Sweet 16, so we're going to see which of these teams have done it. And that concludes the Midwest region for which teams have done it. So yeah, let's go. Keep, keep it up, Arch Madness fans, because you know you got a whole road ahead of you. So yeah.